good morning welcome to my channel my name is violet color chat before i proceed to what i want to do today i just want to appreciate everybody who has been watching my videos subscribing liking commenting as well as sharing oh my god you guys are so kind bless you all i truly appreciate it and if today is your first time of watching my video please subscribe and turn on the notification bell thank you all guys so today i actually decided to do a video on planning because a lot of people come to my email you know you know put on my timeline and say to me planning is so difficult i don't even know how to plan it so how can you get two nursing diagnoses oh my god bless you all it's so easy guys it's so easy even someone told me can you say acute pain related to inflammatory response of body cells evidence by tachycardia i said oh my god nurses are truly intelligent professors and in nursing oh when i grow up i like to be like you guys you know you don't have to crack your brain for the purpose of oski exam it's so simple to get two diagnoses or even three it's that simple now guys doing your assessment you'll be given complete five minutes to read your assessment read it and digest it from your assessment you already have to planning although however sometimes when you get to planning they give you what to plan with but if you read your assessment very well you already have what to plan now let me quickly give you a scenario doing your assessment as you are reading that your five minutes assessment the time they give you to read it before you ever approach the patient you already know for instance you are doing must and you know they now tell you again patient also has post-arthritis abba guys your first care plan is mrs a is having malnutrition with a must score of you are just awaiting approaching the patient and totaling the most score if it's two mrs a is having malnutrition with a more score of two that's your face nursing care plan now ah ah but is it not that simple and because the patient has a store arthritis when you go and relate to the patient are you able to get along she say oh i use clutches i use this your second nursing care plan of course is mrs a is at risk for four due to osteoarthritis it's that simple you don't have to relate it you don't have to evidence it and if you if you have the capacity to do please do as well it's just simple all I do in my video is just to give you a guide. You know, nurses are intelligent people. So you could work on it, add on it, and make it more useful. And even send it to me. I could also learn from you. It's that simple. Or even let's assume from reading your five minutes, from reading your assessments, that five minutes they give to you, and you already know you are doing PHQ-9. You know, what should come to your mind on first instance is Mrs. A is having dash depression with a PHQ-9 of, uh, of dash score, awaiting it. And probably when you calculate your score together, the patient is having a PHQ-9 score of 13. Your number one nursing diagnosis, you know, is supposed to be, if it were me, Mrs. A is having depression with a PHQ-9 score of 13. And PHQ-9 score of 13 is supposed to be minor depression. Please, if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. Okay, let's assume PHQ-9 score is, uh, of 13 is supposed to be minor depression. Mrs. A is having minor depression with a PHQ-9 score of 13. Aim of care to promote well-being. It's that simple. And most times when people are doing most and PHQ-9, they tell you, how do we reevaluate? Is he weekly? Is he monthly? Ah, if it were to be me, I'm not a professor in us, you know. I would say to be reevaluated as the clinical condition changes. It's that simple. Or maybe, you, you know, from reading your assessment for that five minutes they give you, you know it's a GCS, you know you're having a GCS patient. And they've already told you, patient is having a headache just wait to interact with the patient after interacting with the patient you already know oh my darling bless you are you having any pain she says oh it's so heavy on my head oh my lord should i ask you to score your pain zero being the least ten being the highest blah 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 what will you score and she tells you seven ah my brother my sister ah, kepler has come that the first one is patient mrs a is having headache bracket open and close pain you know or mrs a is having pain bracket open and close headache with a pain score of seven simple you give your aim you give your reevaluation re and you say eh -eh, it's so easy now what will be your second diagnosis uh -uh, you interact with the patient as you are you know interacting with the activities of daily living oh you're having a dig oh bless you how do you get along with the activities of daily living she say ha huh, i can't even get along i can't do this is it not risks for impaired mobility 
you could you could write rigs for impaired mobility you could even write rigs for four as you're interacting with the patients you are having a thousand and one care plan to do and sometimes when you get to your planning station you will see they they already have given you something to plan with probably they will tell you like when i did my they asked me to plan for hydration and safe environment and i had mugs in my assessment so since they asked me to plan for hydration if i didn't have most of course and they asked me to plan for hydration probably you may want to consider fluid volume deficit but because i did most and they asked me to plan for hydration and safe environment when i did my design first thing i planned for in hydration was mrs a is having malnutrition with a most score of two because obviously it was two my patient score chikina M of care, you give it, your evaluation, you give it. It's that simple. You know, guys, it's so easy. And, you know, because my patient obviously had those two arthritis from my assessment when I read it. And when I was interacting with her, I said, well, how are you able to get along with activities of daily living? Oh, I can't even get along. It's so painful. I use the walking stick. I use this. Ah, ah, how about bros? As I did my second OCK plan, risks for four due to osteoarthritis. Or Mrs. says that risks for four due to osteoarthritis is that simple. And what about, let's assume, in fact, I'll quickly do a care plan now so that we just, just to buttress the point forward. Because someone replied on the YouTube and said, um, a depressive patient, you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. So let's quickly do a care plan and see. Now, let's assume my patient is having a PHQ9 score of 13. I've totaled the score. I've asked like three questions and I've totaled it is 13. I will now write, Mrs. A is having minor depression with a PHQ9 score of 13. Full stop. M of K I will use to promote well-being. Re-evaluation date to be re-evaluated as the clinical condition changes. Now, borrow me, Matari. I forgot it. It's been a while I did those care exam. He explained and discussed all aspects of care to patients and gained consent for all intervention. The next one should be M, right? Monitor and record Mrs. J. Vita sign and, you know, escalate as per news too. Mm -hmm. The next one will be A. And don't forget his PHQ-9. Assess Mrs. A smooth using the PHQ-9 too. The next one will be E, Matari. Teach mrs uh, a to verbalize her fears to verbalize her feelings and you know encourage positive coping mechanism uh -uh. is it not good like that or let's even assume teach mrs a to express her feeling and positive coping mechanism mm -hmm. that is t the next one is a administer all prescribed antidepressants and monitor its effectiveness after 30 minutes mm -hmm. after a is what uh, arrow refer mrs a to the mental health care team uh, I involve Mrs. A family in a plan of care and gain a consent or seek a consent to do this. D. Document all care as planned. Chicken, huh? somebody will say, hey, what about the self care? What about the self care? Mrs. A verbalize understanding of a plan of care, of course. Mrs. A understand the PHQ 9 to use. Mrs. A, you know, ad can adopt positive coping mechanism. Mrs. A adheres to medication regimen. Mrs. A understand reason for referral. And Mrs. A consents to family involvement. Is that simple, guys? And someone will say, eh, oh yeah, give us a second diagnosis. Okay, as I'm relating with the patients, oh, bless you. Oh, you lost your husband. Oh, bless you. Are you eating well? And he says, oh, I can't. I don't even have appetite. Now, look at my second nursing care plan. Mrs. A is at risk of malnutrition due to poor nutritional intake and you know what will not be the aim of care mrs a will verbalize increased or improved nutritional intake so when we say oh yeah now revaluation date to be reevaluated as the clinical condition changes of course e explain and discuss all aspects of care to mrs a and gain consent for all intervention Hem, monitor and record uh, intake and uh, you know fluid intake and output charts blood glucose and food charts you know e a assess mrs a for sign of malnutrition such as you know loose ring you know loose band a party muscle wasting you know after assess e ma t teach uh, mrs jane the importance of adequate diet to our health you know then a administer or prescribe multivitamin and you know monitor its effectiveness after 30 minutes arrow refer mrs a to the dietitian i you know involve and assist mrs a in choosing her meals or you could even place her on the red tray system how do we say that then the document all care as planned and self-care you could do the way i have done it's that simple guys very simple it's not hard at all ah very simple and please if you have any questions don't forget to pop it up those who have passed us key will answer and if i also have the time i will answer is that simple guys you don't need to you know begin to do a uh, related to this evidence by this and if you have the capacity you have the knowledge please you can do it 
this is just a guide to guide us on how to, you know, plan. Planning is really simple and the entire OSCE exam is very simple. So congrats to all those who have been passing. A lot of, ah, I passed, I passed. Oh, I'm so happy. Bless you all. And for those who are about writing their exam, I wish you success. The exam is so simple. So don't be scared. Don't be anxious. Just go and, you know, tell me I passed and I'll be happy to congratulate you. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to share, like, comment, and please also subscribe if this is your first time. Bye, guys.